Hey there, here's a quick update on the 3D text mesh component. So what I've got right now is just some string uh, in there uh, that you can look at. It's using the latest version of the distance field shader, which looks really nice and can't wait to get an updated version. Um, so what I've got running right now is, you know, that was always functional. Uh, now I can click on the text, it will insert the cursor. This works in 3D, so I can tilt the text anywhere and the cursor goes to the right spot. I can even go on the back side of it and let's say click the letter E. And if I go back here, you see the cursor has been moved. Now the only issue with that is my cursor uh, is only one face um, and it's not rendered from both sides, which is a minor detail. And I don't think anybody will be ever editing text on the backside, but it works. But, you know, I'm not going to bother making the cursor work both ways because it's not needed. But anyway, so I can move the cursor around with the mouse cursor uh, to select different characters. What I added is now with the arrow keys, I can move through the string. Uh, so if I go to the end, it's at the end of the string, and if I go to the beginning, it's at the beginning of the string. Now the next thing that I added is you can go in here, and I can hit backspace and delete text. I can retype the text, and then I can go back here and hit uh, delete instead of backspace to uh, delete the text either in front or in the back of the cursor. Now as you saw, the is was... Uh, white and now it's green so I do support the HTML tag in terms of inside the unity editor UI for entering the strings which you can add colors but when it comes to editing the string that has HTML tags that are not really visible in here it gets kinda hard to uh, deal with that in the sense that um, the behavior that we would want it to use if we're deleting, like right now, the HTML tag sits in front of the I and at the end of the E. The question is, well, if I delete, if I'm, if my cursor is sitting here and I hit delete, well, do I want it to delete the color tags? Because, you know, or do I want it to leave it? And then if I delete the space, like if I'm here, it means I'm deleting the space. So technically the space is not affected by the color tag. So would we want it to affect it or not? Um, or, you know, if I was to hit delete here, do I want to delete the color tag that leads to this? So anyway, it's kind of ambiguous as to how we should treat the tags and the likelihood of somebody wanting to edit a string in a game and actually wanting to change the colors doesn't make sense. So uh, what I ended up compromising on is in the component UI panel, you can enter colors, like if I want to change uh, the color of some, I can go in the other screen and we'll make it uh, red. So I can, in the editor, change the text to any colors that I want, but in the live editing of the string, it, it's kind of weird as to how I'd implement it. Um, I was thinking about how it's done, let's say in Microsoft Word or whatever, and I suspect that each character has its own attribute in terms of color, if it's bold or the treatment or the style and the font that it's using and so on and so forth. And I think that's an easier way to deal with it because then as you de delete a character, it has its own properties and whatever stuff and you can have it for each. Now the problem with using that paradigm inside of what I'm doing is inside of the Unity interface where I would enter the string um, Unity internally is able to change the color of each individual characters but that functionality is not exposed to us so how I would build a, a UI for a user to choose that the letter S is red and the letter O is green other than putting in HTML tags which would make the text you know scale to be super long because now you'd have properties for each piece of, of character that would be kind of kludgy so unless unity or I find a way to change the color of individual characters inside of the user interface paradigm it, I can't really do that because otherwise the text will just be horrible to look at and, and to edit what I was thinking is 
if I could control the individual color of each character is in the Unity UI, you would pick the character, pick a color, and then it would be represented as that color, and, and that could work. So anyway, so I digress now. So this is where I'm at. I can edit text now. I can move stuff around. It works. All I need to do is some cleanup of my code to just like move, massage stuff around and, and make it prettier and start testing for uh, performance, but it's already uh, pretty good, does what I want it to do. Uh, so let me know if you have any ideas, suggestions, or feedback. But it looks like I the nightmare of dealing with UI and stuff is done. Um, what's not implemented, you know, I guess I could implement like double clicking on a word and it would select the whole word. Um, I can look into that. I don't think that would be that hard. Uh, right now, it doesn't support highlighting of text. I could look at doing that. So, you know, I'm not trying to recreate a word processor either. So anyway, let me know what you think. Bye.